for those people who said no, what what we're uh, here with Councilman Paul Manson, Councilman at Large, Democrat, City of Madison. Just went through a Madison Financial Planning and Supervision Commission meeting. Your takeaway? Well, we got to go back and go to work again and try to clean this up a little more. Are uh, you optimistic, uh, based on what you heard from the administration today, the mayor, that uh, that's doable? I can only hope that it is. I can only hope that it is. A problem we're faced with is this election looming, you know that. We already have three council people that will be new. Um, we could have several more, we may not, but also we could have a new mayor. So the plan we're working on is a plan that hopefully will cross whatever happens election-wise. Whoever's here after the November election We'll be able to grab a hold of the plan and still do something. With it. And it hopefully, it's us, most of us that are in council that have been helping with development, because we do have a pretty good council, contrary to what we hear in some of the. Uh, Did we hear a little bit of uh, divide and conquer today uh, from the mayor? She talked about a sit down with uh, council person uh, Andrea Scazzo, Ward 3, and uh, of course, you made the point that. Councilwoman Skaza came back and said these were just talking points. The mayor seemed to think that they were a little more than talking points. I think the mayor, assuming meeting with one person from the council and talking about it, that, that makes an agreement. That's uh, that's that's foolish to even think like that. That's one person in a room with four other people from the administration. Three or four. It sounded like four people three or four other people from the administration. So that's uh, that's taking a giant leap, expecting the rest of the council is going to fall in line with one person that will happen. How about her, the mayor's point that uh, she was excluded by council from participating? She participated one night. Many nights she doesn't come. So is that because council asked her not to come? No, or? I don't remember. Uh, we didn't ask her maybe to show up, and she showed up. You know, we never asked her to stay away, and she's attended many of them on her own. Some sometimes she chose not to. I don't know if she was busy or just didn't want to be there. I don't know. Well, just um, from my perspective, uh, listening to uh, who might change their vote and who might not, it seems to me that if uh, council were to um, uh, exclude the uh, cuts for some of the uh, elected officials that that might be enough to pick up the young vote and uh, that might uh, uh, turn things around for you. Uh, you think? Uh, I thought I heard that. Right. You, you thought you heard that. Right. I thought I heard that same thing. You think that might be a, a place that you can make, uh, and you being council, uh, make an adjustment and at least get a four, what would be a four to three vote that way? Five four. Five four. Yes. Five four. Five four. Okay. Okay. But it would have to be at least a four to three if we had a couple of people absent, you know. Right. Five four. Okay. Yeah, I, and we'll have to talk about it. You know, okay. Some people, some people are already opposed to it. Mm -hmm. I got it. It's in the minutes from the last meeting that I opposed it. Right. But well, you know, I don't control council. I control one vote. Right. Well, now when I t talked about the four three vote, I'm talking about the commission. Oh. I'll let you make comments. Right, I'm, I didn't make that clear. Yeah. Well, I hope by the sounds of it, uh, that and maybe take some steps towards moving towards trying to find some community people to sit on this committee. Uh -huh. um, that would be the other part of it. I think that would help us a lot. It would. I think. That, I think that would. They would have to seriously think about passing that. From what I heard there. What about the su uh, suggestion that I think I heard, and people may disagree with me, of course, that council's not acting in good faith? That's BS, and I'll make that perfectly clear. Now, I don't know what everybody's motivation is, but we have a very dedicated council. The last two councils have been very solid. They're very respectful. 
and they haven't been all lopsided one party or anything. We've had a 5-4 split back and forth between Republicans and Democrats, and we still respect each other, we listen to each other. We realize we don't agree, but we also have come to the point where we do not believe the, when we disagree it's politically motivated, we are committed to our objection to some of these things, not just out of politics. It's because, you know, we have Republicans and Democrats. They do philosophically look differently at some of these things. So, you know, to have them give up what they believe in, truly believe in, no, that, that just would not work. That was the point that Mr. Gessner made about uh, Mayor putting her name on it. We yeah, were you, in, people, were you impressed with his line of questioning? Yes, I was, because that's exactly the way it is with counsel. I do believe counsel is sincere. I do believe the mayor in the past has undermined the past efforts to pass the income tax. It was done twice. The first time she said it was premature when we did it in the spring of 2013. In October of 2013, we were declared in fiscal emergency by the state auditor's office. Now, how could in May that be premature to try to raise more revenue to avoid fiscal emergency? Those kind of comments themselves put doubt in the voters' mind, and I think that's what Ms. Campbell was referring to, that if we don't have a united front, front that there will always be people. It will be very, it'll be almost impossible to pass any, whether it's an income tax or a property tax. Sure. That's just the way it'll be. Yes. So Member Gessner sort of went eye to eye with the mayor and said, uh, you're being uh, inconsistent. Um, I think that was my, what, what I pointed out to the, co the commission at the end. Council feels we are getting mixed messages on some of this, and we would like it cleared up. We're getting a moving target on the amount of revenue we supposedly need. We have a, a proposal. We had a proposal that met the revenue that we worked and, and, on a, a and, year ago, and that's and the one mayor of the points that the enough. chairperson mentioned. Yes. That that there are a lot of variables in this that nobody can fix exactly. on. Things could get better. Things could get worse. You're going to have to deal with those next year, the year after, and five years from now. That's There's no guarantees. We all hope that this financial crisis in 2008 is behind us a long way. There's a lot of things, if we forget Europe, going on in the United things going on in the United States that are very positive on employment and stuff like that. We hope we have more businesses here. We have more tax revenue without raising taxes. We just have more revenue because the... We are uh, improving in our uh, uh, employment situation. We'll get more business taxes and we will get more employee taxes, you know, in city income tax.